See children, so in the workbook, so for this lesson, the workbook part, first we have write true for t for true and f for false statement. So here they have given total eight sentences from the lesson. So which one is the true and which one is the false? If it is true, we should write t in the box. If it is false, we should write F in the box. Okay, children. See the first one. Hans father worked at the steel factory. Is he working at the steel factory? Or is it dike? Is working? Dike. Open and close the gates of the dike, right? So here, is it true? No, it is false. Okay. See the next one. A great part of Holland lay higher than the level of the sea. A great part of uh, Holland lay higher than the level of the sea. Is it higher than the level of the sea or else lower than the level of the sea? If it is higher than the level of the sea, they never worried about the water flood. But here for everything they should worry, right? That means it is lower, but here higher. That's why is it true or false? Very good, it is false. And see the next one, what do we have? For a long time, Hollanders used mounds of earth to save their land from tides. Right? So for long time, before constructing this dike, so for long time, mounds of earth, so like the hills they constructed the earth. Right? Yes, it is true. And next one, Hans always wanted to share all he had. Whether he shares all things or not. Yes, very good. That's why it is true. So T. And see the next one, Hans was 10 years old. So Hans is 10 years old? No, how much age? Yes, very good, eight years, eight years old. So that's why he is 10 years old is the false. False means F. Next one, Hans picked up a bunch of red roses for his mother. Did he bring red roses? No, he brought wild flowers he, brought, he picked up, but he didn't bring, right? So here, red roses false. And see the next one. Hans tried to whistle, but his teeth chattered with cold. So he cannot speak now with full of cold. So that's why this is true. And see the last one. Hans saved the town of Harlem and a great part of Holland. Isn't it? Yes, he saved. Right? That's why it is also true. Okay, children. So like this, we should see the true or false in this. Okay, ma? So let's see the next topic in this. Yes, children. So see the next one. Answer the following questions. So answer the following questions means we have uh, completed the lesson. How much we have understood? So by learning the questions, and uh, uh, giving the answers to the questions, we can easily understood or not. That we can see here. Now see the first question. Where did Hans Brinker live and what was his father's job? Where did Hans Brinker live and what was his father's job? Okay, children. So, see the answer. What is that? Hans Brinker lived in Harlem. Hans Brinker lived in Harlem and his father's job was to open and close the large gates. And his father's job was to open and close all the gates at the entrances of the at the entrances of the canals to control the flow of water. Canals to control the flow of water. Right, children. See the second question. Where did the poor old man live and what did he get from Hans? Where did the poor old man live and what did he get from Hans? So, the poor old man lived on the other side of the dike. The poor old man lived on the other side of the dike and he got a basket filled with cakes from Hans. So, he got a basket filled with cakes from a... Uh, he got a basket filled with cakes from Hans. Right, children? And so... See the third question, which voice did Hans hear and from where it came? So which voice he heard and where it came? So 
hands heard see the answer hands heard a vo the voice of a man asking him what he was doing there so hands heard the voice of a man asking him what he was doing there the man was a laborer returning after work all night the man was a laborer returning uh, returning after work all night okay children and see the fourth question fourth question how did hans discover the leak in the dike how did hans discover the leak in the dike so hans was re uh, returning from the blind old man when he heard the sound of trickling water and saw a leak in the dike through which a tiny stream was flowing so here the um, hans was returning from the a blind old man when he heard the sound of trickling water and saw a leak in the dike through which a tiny stream was flowing okay children and see the next one how did hans save his country how did he save his country hans saved his country by thrusting his little finger into the hole by thrusting his little finger into the hole of the dike that would have soon become a large one and resulted in a terrible flood that would be that would have soon become a large one and resulted in a terrible flood so it becomes very big now that's why he thrust his finger into that hole okay children so this these are the question answers and let's see the next part yes see children so next we have word search word search what do we have in this the listed words describe hands so these words are describing hands what are those friendly kind observant brave heroic and give one reason to justify each of these qualities so these are the qualities of the hands so you must justify this uh, each of these qualities are suitable to the hands okay children that means writing the sentence about hands what are the, what are the qualities showing okay so first friendly what can we write so write the answer he made friendship he made friendship with a poor old man right so he was very friendly with that person na so that's why we can, that quality shows he is very friend he made friendship with a poor old man see the second one kind kind so what can we write the answer for kind he carried a basket filled with he carried a basket filled with cakes to the cakes to the poor old man right children poor old man who lived on the other side of the dike on the other side of the dike okay children see the next one observant observant so how can we take this he is observed observant he observed he observed the tiny hole in the dike the tiny hole in the dike okay children 
and see the next one brave how can we call him he is very brave see that he thrashed his little finger he thrashed his little finger into the hole into the hole and stopped the leak so with this work we can say he is very brave and last one what do we have heroic so heroism heroic what can we say he saved his country he saved his country from a terrible flood from a terrible flood so with this work we can say he is heroic hero okay children so like this for these words we should write the supported sentences justify the words suitable to his character okay children so this you learn it and see the next one yes children so see the next one in this word search only second part fill in the blanks to complete the words so words are from the lesson they have given the words by seeing that here these words we should complete fill in the blanks what are the words Entrances, destruction, humming, stealthy, clambered, exclaimed, writhing, and lantern. So, eight words and eight missile letters they have given. Which one is we should find it and should write it. So, see the first one E dash dash L A dash 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 D. So, what can we write here? E here, suppose like this if you see, but by seeing this only, you should remember. Okay, children. So, what can we take it? Yes, exclaimed. Can we take exclaimed here? E, X, C, L, A, I, M, E, D. Right? Exclaimed. Right, children? So, E, X, C, L, A, I, M, E, D. Exclaimed. See the next one dash dash yam yam dash dash g. Here you can find easily. This is exclaimed complete. Next one. Yes, he went humming his songs. So humming. H U M M I N G. Humming. H U M M I N G. Next one. L dash dash T dash dash N. Easily you can find. Very good. Lantern, L A N T E R N, lantern, L A N T E R N, lantern. And the next one, dash L dash dash B dash dash E D. What can we take it? Yes, clambered, C L A M B E R E D, clambered, C L A M B E R E D. Next one, E dash T R A N dash dash dash. What can we write? Entrances, entrances, E N T R A N C E S. Entrances, E N T R A N C E S. See the next one, S dash E A dash 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 Y. What do we have? Entrance is completed. Next one. Started with S is easy you can find. Still. S T E A L T H Y. S T E A L T H Y. Still. Next one. Dash 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 T H dash N G. What do we have? A reading. W R I T H I N G. W R I T H I N G reading and next one last left over destruction D E S T U R C T I O N 
distraction d e s t r u c t i o n distraction okay children so exclaimed humming lantern clambered entrances stealthy reading and distraction so these are the words they have given from the lessons okay children let's see the next one yes see children so next word we have add suitable suffixes to these words suffix means the word is there so ending if we add something another word we get it that is called suffix before this word if we add then that will become prefix pre before suffix means later so suppose aware is there so for this suffix by adding it we can write this awareness awareness aware awareness okay children and next one organ organ and by adding the suffix organize organ is a different and organize is different meaning we are getting right so organ organize like this we can take it and bore bore so boredom we can take it suffix we can add them boredom we can write it okay children and noise noise we can go for by adding the suffix noisy suffix we can add y and it will become noisy and classy for this classical we can write classical okay children next one last one we have stress stress so for this suffix we can write stressful we can write stressful okay children so like this aware awareness organ organize bore boredom noise noisy classy classical stress stressful so the word we added some suffix and another word we got it okay children so let's see the next one yes see children so here in the next topic we have writing skills so this is your activity you should do a well known author has decided to write a book on hands yes so uh, already we got this topic what do you how do you show honor so here a well known writer want to write a book on this on honor uh, hands so you have been asked to design the cover of the book so book on the book cover of the book we get it now so you have been asked so you are asked to design this one so remember to draw a picture on the front cover and get it a suitable title so here picture we get it suitable title also should get it so the summary on the back cover of the book should be very interesting so back side we give some uh, summary na so that should be very interesting and it should be motivating the reader to buy the book so but don't give the climax so it should be motivating the reader so by reading this so uh, the reader should create zeal yes should buy and should read it but we should not give climax in this summary so very important well, some interesting points we should mention but not the climax then the reader get uh, reader gets zeal interest create the interest yes we should buy the book and should read as early as possible that kind of feeling you should create in this summary without giving climax climax if you give it anyone will buy anyone will show interest to read never at all so that's why here he asked so front cover what we read and how do you draw that is a draw the pic and title and a back cover whatever the uh, information that is a, a summary you write right here in the in our book okay children and see the next one we have life skills so life skill part what do we have you have gone with your friends to play in the park in your neighborhood yes nearby park and like this you go and play with your friends in the evening session na? so the uh, the frisbee you are playing with lands in some bushes so uh, we, uh, when you go to the go to get the frisbee you see that a water pipe is broken and a lot of water has accumulated in that area 
what will you do so while you are playing for the brawl or any other if you go there the pipe was leaked so total area filled up with the water so what will you do that points you write in your book your own point na? that's why i am not giving answer here you only write in your book in your own sentences what will you do immediately you run away from that or else uh, what do you do to control the water so whatever it is you write here okay children so this is our interesting lesson the daring little boy daring little boy so at the age of eight years only how he showed the bravery we should motivate we should be inspired with his work okay children so this is our lesson then we can meet you in the next lesson